Welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain a series of videos on SaaS clinical programming interview question and answers. The next question is here. What are the documents you see as a SaaS programmer in your real time as a job career? So the documents are very simple. First one is a protocol. It is very key document for everyone, even clinical data management people, even for a SaaS programmer, even for medical research person, any persons, if they want to look into this particular study, protocol is the a key document where you need to keep in mind. So protocol document will tell us about uh, um, all the information uh, on this particular clinical trials and all we'll see what it is there in the protocol we'll talk about in a next question i'll just give you a brief idea what are the documents you need to find out as a programmer one is a protocol second one is crf a case reportive form so this using this particular case reportive form how we are collecting the information from the patient we can able to get it by just using an option called uh, using this particular uh, document called crf so CRF means case reportive form. SDTM specifications. What the specifications will do is how you need to derive each and every variable in SDTM data sets. Okay. Let's say you have a use subject ID variable in your SDTM. Then how you are going to derive that? So that means subject ID plus site ID plus study number or something like that. The combinations. So you can able to see in your uh, SDTM specification. So SDTM specification is a key document. Uh, you need to read before starting off your SDTM data sets creation. If you are looking for Adam data set and one more document here, while you are reading the SDTM specification, you need to know about SDTM IZ. Okay, SDTM implementation guide is another document which is you can able to get it directly from the internet. So the SDTM implementation guide also you need to um, uh, use it to create this particular SDTM data sets. So the logics and rules and regulations and everything you need to follow from the SDTM IZ is this particular SDTM IZ is implementing the uh, concepts or whatever is there in the SDTM. Is it the same reflecting on the SDTM specifications also we need to say. If they are looking for SDTM IZ as a use subject ID as a variable name, even your spec also to be created as a use subject ID. You can't create as a variable name as a path ID or something like that. So you need to have the document of SDDM specification and SDDM IG also you need to have it. SDDM IG will have some versions also. Okay. The latest version you will see. We'll talk about uh, what is SDDM specification and all and what is the SDDM implementation guide and all when we are talking about we'll see there. And again analysis data set specification. So this is called Adam implementation guide. Also there is one more document apart from this analysis data set specification. How you will derive this particular data set which variable and how you will derive it and all you can able to get it by just using an analysis data set specification document will tell that which data set which variable suppose you are trying to create a data set called ADSL within that ADSL treatment groups how you are creating it or maybe is there any analysis flags how you are creating it or maybe is there any variable you are deriving it which is not exist in SDTM data sets how you are deriving it the logic and everything you can able to get it in SDTM specific sorry Adam specification you can get it while creating the Adam specification you need to keep in mind that Adam implementation guide also so we need to follow that the Adam implementation guide of all the rules should apply to this particular Adam data sets uh, specification there is a one more document called SAP SAP means statistical analysis plan what this will do is this document will tell that uh, which variable suppose let's say uh, in your SDDM data set uh, uh, we have a height also we have a weight also just imagine just an example BMI is not calculated from the patient so now your interest is to calculate the BMI so that is your height by weight into meter square so that is the formula so the formula will be given by your SAP document SAP is written by the statistician statistician will give you this document by looking into this document only the derivation you will derive it in your STTM spec okay suppose you want to calculate the uh, AE duration okay how many time how many days the person has suffered from this particular side effect or adverse event end date minus start date plus one day is going to be uh, the duration calculation formula who has going to give you that formula for you that formula will be given to you <clears throat> by the uh, what i can say uh, statistician only 
how statistician will communicate to a programmer by looking into the SAP document. So SAP is the key document where you need, you need to get it all the information. Okay, the persons who is developing this as TDM specifications or Adam specifications based on your SAP only. SAP they clearly mentioned that this is the document. This is the specifications you need to use means you have to use the same. And apart from that, you can see here shells. Shells means we also call it this one as a TFL shell document or we call it as a shell. So this is called mock shells. So that means what are the tables, listings and figures you need to generate it. So those tables, listings and figures and all the shells you can able to see in this particular document. And one more thing you can able to see as a eighth folder that is your tracker like how your manager or maybe your leader are assigning a work to you that you can able to get it in a tracker. So these are the key documents you need to keep in mind while working as a SAS programmer. So you need to know the protocol and you need to know the CRF, SDDM specification, SDDM implementation guide, Adam specification, Adam implementation guide, SAP, statistical analysis plan and mock shells and tracker. That's it. So these are the eight folders so you need to keep in mind while working with the, what are the required documents for a clinical SAS programmer you will get to know. So this is my answer to the question what documents you will verify or maybe you will look into to start your job as a SAS programmer.